Hello, first graders. Here we are in chapter two of Henry and Mudge Under the Yellow Moon. Now this chapter is called Under the Yellow Moon. So if you remember in the first chapter, it was about Henry and Mudge and the things they like to do in the fall. Play in the leaves, pick apples, and be together. <clears throat> so now in the second chapter, one thing I wanna think about is how are my chapters connected? What does this chapter under the yellow moon have to do with the first chapter? How are my chapters connected? As, also, as we go through this chapter, I want you to think, what else can we learn about Henry and Mudge? Are we learning anything new about our characters? Okay, so under the yellow moon. Henry loved Halloween. He loved to make jack-o'-lanterns. He loved to make paper baths. And most of all, he loved to dress up. But there was one thing about Halloween Henry didn't like, ghost stories. And Henry's mother loved to tell ghost stories. Every Halloween she put on her witch's hat lit candles, and told ghost stories. She thought Henry liked them because he told her he liked them, but really he hated them. They scared him. He was afraid to tell her that. But this year, Henry had Mudge. Mudge would be with him. Henry would not be afraid of the ghost stories. So Halloween night, Henry's mother put on her hat and lit her candles. She invited Henry and Mudge and some of Henry's friends to listen to ghost stories. It was dark outside. A big yellow moon was in the sky. It was dark inside, except for the candles and the jack-o'-lantern. Henry got close to Mudge on the floor. Henry's mother began. First, she told a story about a man who lost his head. Henry shook. His friends shook. Then she told a story about a cat in a graveyard. The candles made shapes on the walls. Henry shook harder. Then Henry's mother began telling a story about a pair of shoes that went looking for someone's feet. The shoes, she said, came out only at night, and they walked up and down the streets looking. You could hear them, she said softly. They went click, 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 click. Henry's mother tapped her own shoes on the floor. Click, 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 she whispered. But when she stopped tapping, Henry still heard something. Something in the room. Something in the room under the yellow moon. Henry held his breath. Hmm. So I wonder what could still be clicking. Stop and make a prediction. What do you think it's going to be? Something went click, 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 but faster. Henry's whole body shook. It was like someone walking faster and faster. Click, 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 click. What was it? Henry's mother bent down. Mudge, she said. Henry knew his mother was scared too if she needed Mudge. Mudge, she said again. The clicking got louder. The shoes are coming, thought Henry. He put his head in Mudge's neck. Now the clicking was louder than ever. Mudge, Henry's mother said. Stop chattering. Chattering? Henry put his ear next to Mudge's mouth, and Mudge's teeth went click, 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 click. So is that what you were predicting? Were you thinking that maybe it was Mudge making the sound? I didn't think it was going to be his teeth, though. I thought it was going to be his claws tapping on the floor making the sound. It wasn't a pair of shoes, it was Mudge, and he was more scared of the yellow moon 
and the dark room and the witch's stories than anybody else. Poor Mudge, thought Henry. Henry stopped shaking and put his arms around Mudge's big head and held tight to Mudge. Then they listened to the next story about a chair that rocked all by itself, but Mudge clicked all the way to the end. All right, so now let's think about what new information have we learned about our characters? Well, I learned that Henry and Mudge are both scared of ghost stories. Henry loves to dress up for Halloween. He thinks Halloween is fun, but ghost stories scare him. So that's something new that I learned about Henry. And based on Mudge's actions, his clattering teeth, him shaking, I learned that Mudge is afraid of ghost stories too. So each chapter I'm learning a little bit new about my characters. Um, now let's think about how does chapter two fit with chapter one? What are your thoughts on that? Chapter one is about things they do outside in the fall. Chapter two is about Halloween. Now I'm thinking the chapters fit together because they're both about things that Henry and Mudge do in the fall. They play in the leaves, they pick apples, they look for the birds flying south, and Halloween is a holiday that happens in the fall. So I think in this book, our chapters are connected because it's all about different things that Henry and Mudge like to do in the fall. So as you are reading chapter books, you really want to think about how do your chapters fit together to continue the story moving forward. And then don't forget to think about your characters. What are you learning about them? All right, then tune in tomorrow where we will read chapter three in our story, The Thanksgiving Guest. And I wonder who that might be.